This university just had exactly what I wanted, and, and Raleigh was a, uh, the RTP area was, was one of my, my top choices. And I looked across Duke, UNC, and North Carolina State, and NC State just had the, the faculty and the type of program that I was looking for in particular. And so I came here for my PhD. The people here are wonderful. It's a great tech area. There's lots of really smart people around, lots of fun and engaging friends. And coming from the Midwest, it's uh, you know a slightly different culture, but I think here is such a, a mixture of different cultures. People come from all over the world, all over the U.S. here. And so you definitely have the, the Southern hospitality, but you also have the, the melting pot of all of the different cultures, all the different restaurants. And it's big enough that the uh, you have all the culture of a big city, all that you would want, but it's small enough that it still feels homey and still feels uh, like a nice place to live. I had a lot of fun when I was here. It opened the door for me in a number of ways. The gaming community, the game industry here is great. The faculty here were terrific at um, bringing me to and, and pushing me on with my career, getting me involved with the international conferences, um, being engaged with research, working with many other universities and meeting faculty from all over the world and working with them. And it was just a very engaging experience. One of the other things I loved about North Carolina State was you walk down the corridor of the uh, any of the computer science areas of, the, of Engineering Building 2 and you, you see one door, one person who's working on um, tools and robotics and how do robots use tools and, and different affordances there. You walk to the next door and somebody's working on serious gaming, using games to teach people things, both little kids and adults and things like that. You go down to the next door and you're looking at um, optimization or, or programming languages and all of these different domains are all right next to each other and, and people talk to each other. You, you can um, you know, go out and, and have dinner with some of your friends and you're all working on these different interesting problems and it's just a great synergy here. And if there's something that you're interested in um, that North Carolina State doesn't happen to offer, which is pretty small, but there's always one little thing, you have Duke and UNC right next door and all of those faculty as well. So it's just a wonderful area. Hazardous Software does a number of things. We create a platform for serious gaming, which is we call Resequence, and that does all of the things that I mentioned before about uh, editing the timeline, editing your strategies you would a document, and getting people to really see the insights into the simulation that you're running. We're looking at um, and working on integrating that with business process management systems and integrating it within the, the business organization so that you can really deploy it and have it add value to your organization. We also do some work um, building the actual games. Akron is a real-time strategy game where all players can travel through time. So we call it a meta-time strategy game. You can build up an army, send them back in time, and destroy your opponent's base before they build their army. If you think of all the time travel literature, of all the, the, the convolutions that happen with that, our engine can do those things. Our, our game can do those things. So it's really changed, it's made a big impact in um, what is possible in gaming in terms of strat strategic level thinking. Being an entrepreneur is a lot of fun. It's, uh, there's, all, there's risk involved, you never know what it's going to, to be, but the upside is always there. You have this big potential, you have all these exciting opportunities. Um, my, my job is different every single day. Some days, um, you know, the more boring days I might be emailing all day, but then other days I'm giving a keynote presentation at a conference, or I'm uh, negotiating a contract with someone else, or one of my developers has said, hey Chris, we need to solve this problem. It's a very, I, I'm at a loss, what do I do here? And we, we work through it together and we solve it. And it, it's, it's transformed a little bit. Uh, when I started the company, it was all about computer science. I was just doing all, a lot of the coding, a lot of the development. And then as it matures, now you start seeing it uh, being used, seeing people being interested in your product and start engaging them. Um, so it's, it's just, it's a lot of fun.